one side it's a farm and on the other side it's an area that you can do plantations easy when you get to the spikes but now here and usually at my age i would get a score of 600 to 650 a group of horses over there with the barn being all the way back there what? this is what countryside life is like just imagine how it would be hey like guys it is 9 06 a.m we're about to head out but it's not going to be like a vacation or anything we are going to come back later today so we are actually going to go somewhere that is quite close to where my grandma's summer house used to be before we sold it in early june naughty boys just two naughty boys oh dear me <laughs> and there's the house you guys can tell that this is quite small and the fact that the atmosphere is nowhere near similar to how it was when we were at my grandma's summer house which we had sold two and a half months ago it's a different nature actually so i'll take you a tour around here for the moment on one side it's a farm and on the other side it's an area that you can do plantations and gardening so at a certain hour of the day people come here to water the plants to fertilize them and by the way these plants are very very spiky so i wouldn't take it too easy when passing them but many of these plants have peppers growing out you can see some green peppers and even some red peppers like this one and the ones that are near some eggplants too actually you can see that there's eggplants growing out of this one but almost all of them have peppers growing out ah great yeah i just got hit by the spike but thankfully it didn't bleed because these spikes like sometimes it can bleed but at other times it can just hurt a lot but that's pretty much all for this farm i'll take you around here too because is that corn i'll have a look at that too because over there that's where all the peppers grow but let's see see what that looks like it does look like corn though let me just pass through this it might be really spiky here as well though but got a tomato growing out of this root there you see that but oh okay actually these are dead flowers right the tomatoes are still growing out well they're still newly growing that's why it's all green but look at that unfortunately a number of these plants have rotten they've died so let's see what else we can find around here i think he even got a kids park here too oh there it is there's a swings over there but i cannot get through that fence but we still got all that rain this is what countryside is like for those who think that this is a long plant dead no it's a hose but look at that we even got onions going out of here some onions some turnips down here too and some watermelons and melons look at that this is actually a watermelon 
it's still growing that's why many of them are like minions and the melons over there so on the left side it's the watermelons on the right side it's the melons i'll show you that too and again you shouldn't take it easy when you get to the spikes but now here you can see the melons oh one of them got crushed so stopped growing so for anyone that grabs it out of the plants it won't be good enough to eat anymore just found out there's more melons in this garden than watermelons at the moment the season is still summer so it's good to produce them at this time Let's see what these are actually they're melons but i've never seen them in a plain color before now it's now like some of them are still newly growing so the ones that are not yellow are still yet to continue growing i'm talking about this yellow of course well now it's time to get out of this garden but oh boy countryside life what it's like that's the backyard and the table and the chairs which all this equipment we have brought from my grandma's summer house and i know because when i was a kid between around 2005 and 2013 we were going to my grandma's summer house every year what i would love to do on a typical day at my grandma's house because at the time i was a kid we would spend three or four days over there but one thing i would really love to do is take my bike around the neighborhood it was like an addiction i would do this three times a day and on the last year of that period on one day we had been to an arcade center and we had come to the punching bag and usually at my age i would get a score of 600 to 650 considering that the maximum score you'd get was 999 but when i tried it then the boxing bag suggested me that i was too young to punch it because unfortunately i ended up getting zero points and that was an epic fail after that on two occasions we had come back to my grandma's summer house on july 22nd 2018 we were celebrating imran's birthday which we have spent an hour or two over there and then on july 18th 2020 we came there for one day and me and barakai were just being really really silly wetting each other with the water guns the next day we were doing pretty much the same thing and i was enjoying the hell out of my bike ride and that was it show you a bit inside the house how about that so just a bed for two and it's nice that we got a ac here and it's pretty much all well in this room and you can see the outside too that's where i was just hanging around looking at the watermelons and the melons oh yeah and that too see that that's that's actually the bed upstairs you can climb that ladder and there's even a bed upstairs that you can get to sleep oh it's not even that easy to open this hiya a group of horses over there with the barn being all the way back there with the couple of cows for now they look quite calm and these two look to be friends with each other how sensational there's the swings that i was talking about earlier in the vlog so i have made it through this gate and got to look at the swings just look at them really well i'm actually going to try it out see how it works see how it fits oh yes that is what even is this countryside swinging like i'm in a kids park or what this is what countryside life is like just imagine how it would be like living in the countryside now versus 40 years ago i'd be crazy to come here in the 1980s when the last two or three years city life has just been a bit insane for me so for a few hours it felt nice i can say sentimental well of course i do prefer city life but it just hasn't been great compared to the way it was 
even six or seven years ago. Hey, we got a private jet here. It's very fast. Sometimes it's the noises of the horses and the cows. Sometimes it's the jets. Sometimes it's the trucks as well. You never know what kind of a place this could be. But now, without any further ado, time to go back home and play that game that will help me decide my minimum step count and the ending number and the dare if I fail to match. <laughs> back home in it well anyways so the minimum step count for tomorrow six thousand uh oh seven thousand eight thousand nine thousand okay so if i finish tomorrow with a step count of below nine thousand then as a consequence, I will go to the fitness center every single day of the next week, from Monday to Sunday, seven days in a row. And now time to spin the wheel. Okay, so is it gonna end with five? Oh, that was an epic flip. Well, okay. So my targets are for tomorrow to take a minimum step count of 9,000 and to finish the day with a step count that ends with five because I have officially decided that Thursday is going to be the day of the week next week that I do more fitness. I will take all three of the equipments that I would usually take, bike, treadmill, and jogging. So if my step count does end with five tomorrow, then on Thursday, I will do a total of 48 minutes of workout, meaning 60 minutes on each machine. However, if it ends with four or six, then I will spend a total of 51 minutes of workout. If it ends with three or seven, then 54 minutes. If it ends with two or eight, 57 minutes. If it ends with one or nine, 60 minutes. So I'll be working out for an entire hour and I'll be 20 minutes on each of the equipment. And if it ends with zero, the worst scenario, then 63 minutes. So each of the equipment I'll be using for 21 minutes. That's gonna be a hell of a workout. And I really shouldn't be taking it that hard, even if I get that consequence. All right, guys, that's it for the vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm really hoping that you enjoyed it. It was actually a really, really nice trip to our countryside what could be our countryside house. We haven't made it official yet, but for a few hours, we had to look inside and we had to look around the house as well, especially outside. And we've been thinking about building a pool. It might not be too easy due to the plants right in front of the house. Like there's a lot of crops, but that doesn't mean I'm gonna lose hope. Like we can still get it done. We could still get it to a success in the event that we choose this house. So hopefully you're enjoying your weekend too. So far, it's been a productive weekend and I will see you guys in the vlog tomorrow. Have a great day.